One thing we've noticed about the Russians is they drive fast. Our taxi driver was screaming along this morning. Uh, I looked at the speedo and at one point we were doing 110. So we got there really quick, but uh, yeah, a little bit nerve wracking. It's Saturday in Lisbianca and it is sunny. So we've got a ferry to catch at 11 o'clock. It's gonna take us across to the other side. And from there, we're going to walk along the train line. The Circum Baikal Railway, which used to be part of the Trans-Siberian until like the 1950s, I think. Uh, now it's just got like a tourist train that goes on there. So we just have to dodge that when it comes. Yeah, so hopefully we can go through a couple of tunnels. Yeah. Uh, but it should just be a nice walk. We'll find a spot to have a bit of a picnic. Mm -hmm. So first of all, we need to go to the fish market so that we can get some food to eat. Yeah. Yeah. And that's where we're going. We're going across the, the other side. Looking forward to it. The fish market we want to go to is just here. And when we rocked up at nine, they said they open at 10. They don't look very open and it is 10. Yeah, I don't think that this fish market's open. <laughs> Our ferry leaves in about an hour and we still have to walk to the ferry station and I don't think we're going to be able to buy anything in the next 15 minutes so we're going to make the executive decision and head towards the ferry because if we miss this ferry the next one's not till 4 o'clock. Yeah. The water here is so beautifully clear like you can just see the bottom. Check out these guys. Lots of crawling bugs. There's so many we don't know what they are but Tim's having a tough time keeping him off his legs. Yeah, even with all the hair, they're still managing to get through. So this is the ferry stop. There's no sign saying it's the ferry stop, but when you actually come down here, there's a little sign that has like a schedule on it. And I think there's a woman selling fish over there, but I'm not sure if she is or not. And I'm a bit nervous about asking her. I just can't get over how clear this water is. Like, yeah, it the is water is so clear. literally crystal clear water. Yeah. Beautiful. It is, especially with all the boats and stuff going through. I thought it would be a lot dirtier, but the water of this lake is very clean. The ferry has finally left. We've only been here for about two hours. It's so not like us to have so much time available, but when you get to just sit and look at a lake, it's fine. An invoice and then she ran off before taking the money and now I'm trying to like follow her Where is she? She's over there. Still need to pay. Ready to go. So that was actually 134 rubles and I think it's like twice the price for a speedboat. So maybe we'll just get a speedboat on the way back. Twice as fast. <laughs> We are now at Port Baikal. We just got the ferry over from Lisvianka and this is where you can start walking along the historic railway track. So it doesn't look like there's too much here so I'm glad we bought snacks. We're just going to start walking along the track and see how many tunnels we can get through. I'm not really sure where everyone's going. <laughs> Everyone just got off the ferry and they knew, seemed to know where they were going. So we're just following. Yeah. I mean, we didn't think there was anything here and we're just going to the railway track. Maybe all these people have the same idea as us. Maybe they're all going to walk along the track. Yeah, we'll see. A guy sunbaking topless by the lake. <laughs> it looks very European. <laughs> we're going to buy some local fish and piroshki. I'll just ask. Yeah. Ooh. Eti vegetariansky. No. Uh huh. Okay. How much are these? We're in luck. They're vegetarian. 
Uh, one of them and one what of them. You get two of the pierogies. Oh, okay. Two, two. Nice. Paka. 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 Got a pierogi. Bye bye. <laughs> Success. We got our fish and we got more pierogi. Yeah, we're actually here. We're at Lake Baikal and we're walking along the historic railway and it's sunny. We've got our fish. I had planned this all out when I was back home in Australia and like read about doing this. Now we're doing it. I love it when you finally get to do something after ages of planning and researching. Totally. And it's just as beautiful as I thought it would be. Yeah, it's stunning today. Just stopped to eat our proshki that we bought from that lovely lady and these ones are so much better than the ones that we had in the town. You can tell these are homemade, they are delicious. Mm. Makes me think the ones we had in town might have been like pre-packaged ones. These are the real deal. So we've made it to the first tunnel. So this is one of the things to do when you come to Port Baikal. You walk along the historic railway and there's a series of these stone tunnels. Okay, so this one is not very long at all. All right, so we thought we'd just stop for lunch. This looks like a good spot and we're pretty hungry. This is the fish that we bought when we got off the ferry. So Lake Baikal is known for its fish, freshwater fish, and they smoke it. It smells really strong, smell that. <laughs> it, doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't smell fishy though. It, it smells quite smoked. It smells very smoked. I'm not really sure how you meant to eat it. I think you just pull bits off of it. But it's got um... Bones? Yeah. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here we go. Mmm. That's really good. Mmm. Definitely has a smoked flavour to it. It does. And we've got an avocado and some bread that we got at the market yesterday. I reckon we'll have a sandwich. And a nice view. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that I'm doing this the wrong way, but I don't normally eat fish, especially not like this. Ooh, this looks good. That fish is really good. Delicious smoked flavour. And local bread. I don't know how far the avocado has travelled. Mmm. Good work, April. I think the train's coming. Can hear a noise. It might be the train. A little bit confused because I can hear a boat horn, but it sounds like there's a train coming, so there could be a boat and a train. Got your sandwich, Dal? Got my sandwich. That wasn't a train? No. No train. It was the train! <laughs> okay, so that definitely was the train. Now, where's this boat? <laughs> cool, so I'm glad we got to see the train. Yeah. Sort of just came out of nowhere. Yeah, it's perfect. We were by the lake eating the fish that it's known for with the train. I mean, couldn't have planned it better. No, really great. couldn't have. <laughs> very impressed by the, the local fish. They know what they're doing. Yeah, it's really good. It's very tasty. Now it's time for dessert. So <laughs> another local delicacy we came across uh, is like a... I don't know what they're called. I don't know what they're called, but it's like a waffle with... Um, it's like a butterscotch type. I think it's like boiled condensed milk. It's like a caramel in a waffle. And they're about, I think, 50 rubles each. Not even. I think they're like 25 rubles yeah. each. And really. wicked sweet. <laughs> so good. Oh, we've had a lot of these. Mmm. <laughs> It's just caramel in waffle. <laughs> All right, we better make tracks. <laughs> I am so happy right now. This is perfect. We got to see the old train go past. Sun's out. I'm loving Russia. I just found this little cabin, little Russian railways cabin. Yeah, it's got the Russian railway network 
logo on it. I wonder mm. what it's for. So have a look. Workers? Little fireplace, just a little cabin. Oh, that's cute. So heaps of the buildings in Les Bianca are built just like this. How cool is it? It's like when you're a kid and you had these wooden building blocks that interlocked. And then when you're inside, all the cabling is on the outside with like, um, outside of the walls with like a conduit over it. Love it. Love wooden cabins like this. Times like these that sometimes I stop and I think we're on some random creek bed on the north shore of Lake Baikal. Nobody knows that we're here. No. Well, people know we're in Lake Baikal, but not exactly where we are or when we're leaving. We're just doing our own thing. It's good. It's great. It is exploring. Wow. Tim, are you going to go for a swim? Ooh, a little bit chilly, I reckon. Wow, look how clear that is. Yeah, it's pretty clear. So you're going to wuss out and not go swimming? Well... I thought you were going to go skinny dipping. Maybe on the way back. <laughs> oh, if those seals come by, the water is so clear, you'd be able to see them. Yeah, we've seen a few seals, we reckon. We read in a brochure that Lake Baikal has seals and we've seen little heads bop up and they look like seals, so check out this water. Wow, so clear. This lake is huge, so we're pretty much right at the bottom uh, and it just extends for a very long way up. We're only at a small portion of it and it looks enormous. Huge lake. Looks like we've got an endless supply of skimming rocks too. <laughs> Tim has tried to film that a few times. <laughs> it's not very good. But these rocks are so warm. I'm enjoying just sitting here. There you go. Finally. <laughs> That's icy. Why does your face look weird? <laughs> that is freezing. Oh. You're in there, there for the like cold. five seconds. Do you reckon you could do a whole body dunk? No. <laughs> your feet are all red. <laughs> It's like painfully cold. Oh. How's your day been? It's been amazing. I've just really enjoyed coming out here, being in nature. Mm. Hasn't really cost us anything apart from no. getting the ferry across and we've just been able to wander around, have a bit of lunch and mm. the weather's just been spectacular. It's been amazing. I have been seriously dreaming of coming here and spending this day today doing what we've been doing yeah. for so long and it's been perfect it's been fantastic it has yeah and i guess this is what most people do when they come to list bianca is hang out by the lake go along the railway eat yeah. the smoked fish yep get a bit of sun i see why it's popular mm. <laughs> all right so we're gonna head back now and get an early night i think yeah and then we're gonna go back to a kutz so we can catch our train to your yeah and that's gonna be a very interesting trip yeah. uh, we're not actually staying the night we're just doing a very quick daytime tour. We mm. arrive at 4 a.m. in the morning. After a couple of days on a train. Yep. So. Anyway, you'll see what we've uh, we've arranged for ourselves. Yep. <laughs> Another go? See that one? <laughs> Whoa, did you get that? Yeah. Good work. End on a high note. <laughs>